Hello, welcome back to the screencast. It's Massey Cheneau and Mr. Shetler coming to you today. We're going to be talking about inequalities. We just started this in our uh, algebra unit today, and we really need to know these four symbols. When I say these four symbols, there are these symbols that I'm circling, using my best circling. Perfect. And each one has a different meaning. The first one, right here in this column, right here, it's a less than symbol. And the less than symbol is used for examples like this. Three is less than five. You'd also write two, oh, perfect, is less than five. Watch this five, outstanding. Because the value of the number on the left is less than the number of the value of the right. Using the second column, we are going to say, oh, that's a greater than symbol. So 8 is greater than 4, makes complete sense. So 10, here we go, is greater than 2 tenths. Perfect, of course. That also makes sense. New territory for sixth graders. We discussed this teeny tiny change at the bottom here of this symbol, I'm working in the third column, it says less than or equal to, and that's what that little line underneath means. So right here in our example, seven is less than or equal to 10, makes sense, because seven is less than 10. But this also makes sense using that symbol. 10 is less than or equal to 10. Little symbol underneath means a world of difference because over here in this column, right here, if I were to say that 10 is less than 10, you'd say I'm crazy. But over here where I'm saying 10 is less than or equal to 10, that makes perfect sense. Very similarly, the greater than or equal to symbol is here in the fourth. And we can say 12 is greater than nine. Actually, I'm saying 12 is greater than or equal to 9. I could also say 12 is greater than or equal to 9. Let's take a look at a problem. Here we have a inequality. The variable is f. f plus 2 is less than 9. I have to think of all the numbers that I can put in for f that will make this be true. Well, there's three, one, two, three examples given of what we should try. So. Let's try six plus two first. Six plus two. Oh, I love writing with this thing. Plus two. Perfect. Is less than nine. Well, six plus two is eight, and eight is less than nine. Makes sense. How about seven plus two? Great seven. Seven plus two is nine. So that doesn't make sense. Seven plus two is not less than nine. And I bet you that eight plus two is not gonna work either. Eight plus two is 10 and 10 is definitely not less than nine. So the correct response would be six because six makes this inequality correct. How about another example? Here the symbols changed a little bit. We have 12 is less than or equal to 18 minus y. And if y equals six, does that solve the inequality? Okay, let's take a look. 12 is less than or equal to 18 minus six. 18 minus six is 12. That would be true because 12 does equal 12. Also numbers that fit into y would be five, four, three, two, one, and an infinite amount of numbers that keep getting lower because our inequality is stated as 12 is less than or equal to 18 minus y. There's an introduction to inequalities and what we were doing today in class. As always, feel free to bring questions with you to class so we can discuss them, make sure we understand perfectly before we move forward with inequalities. It's a Thursday in uh, our community getting ready for the big superb bow. Again, I don't want to use the uh, superb owl. I don't want to use the NFL's logo. Um, have a great night, and that's the maths you should know.